Hello guys, today we're going to talk about special quotients, which if you remember, when we discuss our division terms, quotient is the answer to a division problem. We'll get special answers when we divide by 1 or 0, and I use a 0 here with a slash through it to represent the, let the number 0 so you don't think it's the letter O. There are certain rules that we have to follow. So, rule 1. Dividing by 1. Think. What number times 1 equals 10? So if we have the problem, 10 divided by 1, you have to think to yourself, what number times 10, or times 1, excuse me, times 1, is going to give me 10? What number times 1 is going to give me 10? Well, that's simple. 1 times 10 gives me 10. So, if 1 times 10 gives me 10, then if I take the number 10 and if I divide it into only one group, how many is going to be in that group? I have 10. I put it in one group. How many is in that group? 10. So, the rule for dividing by 1 is any number divided by 1 is itself, regardless of the number. I have some examples here. 8 divided by 1 is 8. It's the same number. It's itself. 20 divided by 1 is 20. 510 divided by 1 is 510. So the rule is any number, any whole number, divided by 1 is that number, no matter what. The next rule is 1 as a quotient. Instead of dividing by 1, we're getting 1 as an answer. So if I have the problem, 10 divided by 10. To find the answer, think to yourself, 10 times what number equals 10? 10 times what number equals 10? Hmm. 10 times 1 equals 10. Because you have to remember back to multiplication, the identity property of multiplication states that any number times 1 is that number. So 10 times 1 gives me 10. Therefore, if I have 10 candies and I divided them into 10 equal groups, how many is in each group? Well, if I have 10 and I split it into 10 groups, there's only going to be 1 in each group. So the rule for 1 as a quotient is any number, except 0, we don't count 0, any number divided by itself is 1, no matter what the number is. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 8 can only go into 8 one time. 20 divided by 20 is 1. 20 can only fit into 20 one time. 510 divided by 510 is 1. It can only fit into itself one full time. So any number divided by itself is 1. That's the second rule. The third rule is dividing by a number, or dividing 0 by a number, excuse me. So if I'm dividing 0 and I'm, I'm taking 0 and I'm going to divide it by a number, I'm going to split 0 up, right? Okay. So to find 0 divided by 10, think to yourself, 10 times what number equals 0? Okay, well 10 times 1 is 10. So 10 times what gives me 0? Exactly, 0. If I have 8 times 0, that's going to give me 0. So 0 divided by 8 is 0. The rule for this one is 0 divided by any number is 0. If I have 0 candies and I want to divide it into 20 groups, how many is in each group? There's 0. I don't have any candies to split up. So you can take 0 and divide it by a number, but it's always going to give you 0. If I have 0 divided by 8, that's 0. 0 divided by 20, that's 0. 0 divided by 510, 0. 0 divided by a million, 0. I have 0 as my dividend. If I try to split 0 up, there's not going to be in any group anyways because I don't have anything to split up. That's rule 3. Okay, and the fourth rule is when you divide by 0. So instead of 0 being the first number, it's what we're dividing by. To find 10 divided by 0, you're going to think 0 times what number equals 10? OK, 
Okay, well, zero times one is zero, zero times two is zero, zero times three is zero. Zero times no number gives me 10. There is no such number. I cannot come up with a number that I could multiply times zero and give me 10. There's no number known to mankind. So the rule for this is you cannot, never, ever, ever, divide by zero. It's not possible. You don't, there's, it's not even zero. The answer wouldn't be zero. It would be there's no answer or you cannot do it. You cannot complete it. Eight, if I have eight hair dryers and I'm dividing them into zero groups, how many is in each group? I cannot do that. I cannot take it and divide it into zero groups because I'm not dividing it. I'm not splitting it up. It's zero. You can never, ever divide by zero. And that's the final rule. You can, there's no such answer. can never divide by zero. So, our review. Any number divided by 1 is itself. 30 divided by 1 equals 30. 12 divided by 1 equals 12. Second rule. Any number divided by itself is 1. 30 divided by 30 is 1. 12 divided by 12 is 1. Third rule, 0 divided by any number is 0. 0 divided by 30 is 0. 0 divided by 12 is 0. Fourth rule, you cannot divide by 0. So 30 divided by 0, no answer. No such answer. 12 divided by 0, no such answer. The difference between these two rules is where the 0 is located. Here the 0 is located as the dividend and my answer would be zero. Here my zero is the divisor, so it gives me no answer. You just gotta pay attention to where the zero is in your problem. I want you to study these rules tonight, really, really read over them, watch the video again, and practice them. I have some problems here that I want you to try. One, two, three, and four. I want you to try, find the answer, and then tell me what the rule is. Tell me what the quotient would be for each one of these and what rule it follows. I also want you to write down any questions you might have had about this video and bring your answers and your questions to class tomorrow ready to discuss. Thank you.